Hi, welcome to your new coach mentorship to Dreamcatcher Dynasty and to most importantly the um, lifestyle shift of more intention and health and wellness and overall abundance and wealth that you've decided to make for yourself. Uh, congratulations. So stoked to have you part of the family and excited to get a better understanding of where you're at and what your goals are and um, guiding you and supporting you and moving forward because really this journey is yours and it can look however you want it to look and there aren't really any rules um, which is exciting, but also for a lot of new coaches, especially if you're new to personal development or mindset work or um, like a healthy lifestyle, things like that can also feel a little overwhelming. And I want to start this video and um, everything, our whole journey together out by letting you know that that is a normal, but, but be something... Um, that you can consciously release and constantly let, consciously let go of, and it's kind of what we want to address in this video to get started. And then I'm um, going to give you an explanation in terms of pace and goals and things like that moving forward. So as you're getting beginning in your training and in um, learning about coaching and about Beachbody and about our programs and about everything, you have a real foundational understanding because you're going to hear a lot of um, words and goals and and these big picture ideas thrown out um, in all your training and videos and things that you're going to be watching. Um, so we're going to start here with a real alignment in terms of your lifestyle and your goals so that you can be clear in what's being communicated to you and what works for you and what doesn't. Um, and that is kind of we're going to start your number one lesson in terms of a lifestyle change and moving into a space of more alignment in our lives, um, which is our big thing with Dreamcatcher Dynasty. Our, our tagline is intention, intuition, purpose. And um, it's as a culture, we really focus on like the aligned spiritual aspect of goal setting and abundance creating and dream making and all of these things so that it can feel in a really good clear space um so first things first that's a little bit about Dreamcatcher dynasty um the overwhelming part is normal you've just decided to take on overall kind of a whole new lifestyle and the important thing to remember in getting started in this is that you walk a mile taking single individual steps. So this is going to be the same thing and just like everything we do is gonna be in direct, you know, comparison to like a weight loss or a fitness journey, right? It's, it's in alignment with exactly what we do as coaches. Your number one thing is to focus on your own transformation and your own journey. If you're not doing your own health and wellness thing, then it's kind of pointless for you to be here, right? So that's your number one thing, and it's important to remember, just like on your wellness, your fitness, your weight loss journey, this isn't a quick fix. There is no quick fix, um, and it takes time. It most importantly takes consistency, and it's just little individual changes and little individual steps compounded over time that make big change. It's the exact same thing with your business. Um, really important to have consistency if you're not showing up regularly you don't have a business, right? But more than that, this isn't a get rich quick scheme. This isn't um, something that's gonna like explode instantly. It takes time and it takes showing up and it takes doing repetitive efforts in order to see, um, you know, like the outcome and transition and transformation of it, but it is, so incredibly worth it and when you go into this business with that mindset of like the long-term goal at the end just like you're doing with your weight loss and your fitness and your wellness journey it's so incredibly fulfilling and the connections and community um, and relationships you get to build based on that are invaluable and incomparable so that's the first thing is 
patience, showing up consistency, and knowing you're in for the long game. Um, second one is um, not allowing yourself to get overwhelmed and to get frustrated. A big problem a lot of people will have when they start on this um, coach training or journey or whatever is there is an abundance of resources and an abundance of training and kind of like more than you would ever know what to do with. And that's what your team and your sponsor and your coach is here for is to help guide you along that process. And um, something that's, that's shifted so much since I started back in 2013 is like corporate has given us a really solid checklist of training and resources and things like that available in our back office, which you'll get in the back office tour. It's a resource in our team page um, that will be on your new coach checklist. Um, but instead of getting overwhelmed and feeling like you need to learn everything and do everything and do all of these trainings and understand everything from the very get-go, uh, taking learning step by step and in what you're learning these each individual things and these each individual steps and ideas and measures is implementing those instantly. So for example, um, like in your new coach training, learning about the invite process and about talking to people versus waiting and doing training further in terms of understanding coaching or programs or things like that to implement, just jump forward and start implementing what you're learning because so much of this process is working through it, getting comfortable with it, and you can get all the information and outlines you can get a million of them but things like building relationships and talking to people is something that is only going to come with experience it's only going to come through working through it and figuring out what works for you and what works for your people and like your vibe and your energy and that's just going to come with comfortability of doing it over and over that being said there's going to thing, be things that come up for you that are scary, that are new, that are, you know, you've got major blocks to, and that's what we're here for. We're here to move through blocks. We're here to release things holding us back. We're here to, you know, work through limitations and gain more confidence and do things that we're afraid of so we can be the person that we want to be. Fear is no longer an excuse. It's now a motivator because everything you want is on the other side of your fear and on the other side of this discomfort, right? You you grow into the person who does these things versus just becoming them before something's going to come to fruition. So big one is learning, but mostly implementing and implementing instantly and, and trusting that it's going to build off of itself. Um, with that, you're going to get, so like I said, there's a new coach checklist, um, which is just going to be a basic like checklist to work through. Take it step by step. Do one check. Learn, training, do the step, whatever. Implement. Finish that before moving forward. Simple. Easy. <laughs> Ta-da! You're welcome. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what I've got on that. Next, let's talk about um, pace and consistency. So there are, this business can look any way that you want it to. Um, for us, for me, when I first started, I was, um, with this comes pacing. So pacing means you can either like walk this business, you can jog this, big, jog this business, or you can run this business or sprint it if you will. Um, and something important to know is that that shifts over time, that can shift, you can shift that at any point and making that conscious choice in terms of your pacing and your business goals in relation to um, your lifestyle and where you're at and kind of how quickly you want to move things. So there's no right or wrong answer to this, but the important part is the consistency part. So what can you show up and commit to and do consistently? This will change based on who you are and where you're at in your life and what's going on and what your goals are. So for example, when I started in 2013, I was working a full-time job um, in a relationship, but my uh, fiance was working 
out of town and I hated my job and I wanted to quit my job and I wanted to be coaching full time. So I jumped in this business full bore 100% as a sprinter from the very beginning. So um, my goals were and uh, get out a piece of paper if you don't have one yet, you should Anytime you're watching a training video or something like that, have a piece of paper, have a notebook, somewhere to jot down and write down your thoughts. Like treat this, if you want this to be a business, you have to treat this as a business. If you treat it as some cute little hobby to show up to, it's going to earn like a hobby and it's going to affect your life like a hobby. Okay, so if you want it to be a business, you have to treat it like a business and specifically in relation to your lifestyle, if you want the incredible transformation that you see over and over with Beachbody, it's because people treat it with the respect and priority necessary in order to be there. So um, that's really important. Back to the pacing. So when I first started, I was sprinting. So I worked um, in the morning before work, I worked at lunchtime and I worked after work. I was working an additional probably 34 hours um, 30 to 40 hours a week on my business on top of my 40-hour um, work week. Then I quit my job five months into coaching and just slept and trusted in this and fell in love with this really quickly and kind of knew it was going to catch me. And at that point, I was probably working 100 hours a week on coaching. Again, it's not a uh, get rich quick thing it rolls over the amount of time and energy you're going to put into it is what you get out of it and especially at the beginning what you need to know is there's a about a 60 to 90 day turnover period with people and with your um, journey and with everything that with what we do um, people aren't 100% ready to jump in at the very beginning so it's like planting a seed sowing a seed so know that the work and the effort you put in now is really kind of going to pay off two to three months from now and so um, jumping in and working all of those hours was a lot, but it paid off really quickly and I was able to make up my full-time income from my salaried corporate job in six months and do coaching full-time quickly because of that, but it was because I was sprinting and putting that time and that effort and that focus fully into my business, okay? So that's the sprinting option. I was 26 and in a relationship, but not married, nothing, you know, like I had that time and energy to focus there. And that was just where I was at. I was at my career. I was at my job. I was, that's where I wanted to be. Um, and if you're like single, dude, if you're single, ideal situation, single, like mid to early twenties, no kids, Getting in and sprinting this not only does an incredible change for you personally and internally, um, but the capabilities of what it can do in terms of growing a business really quickly is really, really amazing. Uh, if you are a sprinter, your goal would be these num these words don't necessarily mean anything to you yet. Um, you're learning a whole new culture, a whole new language, jumping into coaching. So just writing these things down and trusting that the understanding is going to come later. Uh, if you're a sprinter, your goal would be success club um, like 15 to success club 20. Okay, and that would be signing four to five new coaches a month. Uh, at the beginning, you're not going to necessarily hit those goals. You could, who knows, um, but that that's what you're striving for if you're a sprinter and if you're wanting to grow really quickly. Uh, the second option would be jogging. We're starting with sprinter because where I started. Second option would be jogging, which is um, growing this at like a fast but consistent, um, less intense, hardcore hustle. So your goal there would be success club 10 every month, which is helping five people every month. Success club points is two points per new customer with a challenge pack or signing up as a new coach. So your goal would be success club 10 every month, and that would be getting to work your business on average um, about three to four hours a day, probably working six to seven days a week. Sprinting, you're working six to seven days a week. And for me, I was working any time that I had time. Um, and I loved it. I'll say that. Like, I loved every single second of it. Uh, so that's jogging, running. Did I say jogging or running? It's about three to four hours a week. Your goal would be Success Club 10. The um, last one is walking. This is where I'm currently at. Um, I'm pregnant. I have an 18-month-old. I'm married. Like, lifestyle-wise, 
I don't want to be, this is a really part time for me. I also run an additional spiritual business that is something that came to fruition later after coaching full time and kind of grew and majority of our team um, is a multi-passionate entrepreneur. So if that's very likely something that you are interested in wanting to, you know, have an additional Etsy shop or you have an additional business with less consistent income or something like that. Um, this is an incredible thing to add into it because no matter what you want to be living a like healthy lifestyle. And so this just naturally fits into that. Um, so in the case of walking, that is you're looking at working one to two hours a day, um, typically like five to six days a week. So I really work my business Monday through Friday. Um, Saturday, I check in and respond to messages on Saturday, but I don't really work on Saturday. Uh, the weekends are my creation mode and Sunday I'm on full like firewall. I do not work on Sunday. Um, and I'm working one to two hours a day specifically on my beach body business consistently that's the important thing is the consistency part of it you can do a power hour you can get things done you can get it done in a condensed amount of time if you're focused and if you're driven um, and you can build a really amazing business on a small amount of time with consistency with that walking your goal would be helping three people a month minimum so that's success club five and regardless of what your pacing is helping three people a month success club five is going to be your bare minimum in terms of running a growing successful business so you'd be success club five adding one to new two new coaches um, a month if you're walking so uh, the big question I have for you out of this video is what is your pace based on um, your lifestyle and where things fit in again that can change at any point so like right now, I started as a sprinter. There was a while where I was um, walking. I came back and jogged for a little bit. Now I'm back at a pace of walking. And, you know, when we hit later, um, I've got goals like this winter and later this fall with resolution effect to go back to a sprinting, not a sprinting mode, but like a running mode a little bit. So it can always change. Um, but where you're at right now in terms of guidance and support and things like that, I would like to know, are you a walk, are you jogging, or are you sprinting so that we can get you set up with um, your goals and your guidance and direction. And from here, after responding to that, uh, you're going to get added to some team pages and um, you're going to get added to your challenge and coach training and resources once your response comes back will be more um, directed after that. So thanks for hanging out and watching the video. Welcome to Dreamcatcher Dynasty. We're so excited to have you. Congratulations on starting your new lifestyle transition. And I can't wait to see where you go and what comes from this. And this changed every single aspect of my life and becoming a coach is very, very sincerely and genuinely the single best decision I have ever made. And what you put into this, you will get out of it. The possibilities are entirely endless.